Oh my God. Oh my God. I was just setting up my camera to start this episode and I saw the most bodacious fireball. I'm not kidding y'all. It just streaked across the sky. It was enormous. Oh my Lord. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See the reward you get for coming out when it's 15 degrees. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. This episode is about Mars. <laughs> this one's Mars at opposition. Why am I out here when it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which equals about, I don't know, minus 8 Celsius? Because Mars is at opposition. It is the closest it'll be to Earth until 2033. It's about 17 arc seconds big in the telescope. And it's about 50 million miles away. And it is big. And tonight is the full moon. And there's going to be a lunar occultation of Mars in just about 30 minutes. So i am got my telescope on Jupiter right now. And it looks really good. The seeing is really good. And... The transparency is good and it's clear and I think it's going to be great. It's pretty close to the moon now. The moon is just washing out everything. It's reflecting off this snow because it snowed about a foot a couple of days ago. But this is going to be really great. I know because what an auspicious beginning to see that giant fireball. My first one in Montana. Thank you universe. Now let's have a look at Mars. I forgot to mention that this is my 12 inch Mead Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. I didn't think I'd be able to see Mars in it, but it's clear after all. And so let's have a look at Mars. Mars is very close to the moon and it's about to be occulted. And even though the moon is so close and bright, I can still make out surface details on Mars. I'm looking at it right now with my 7 millimeter Teleview Nagler. And it looks pretty good. Even though it's low in the sky, it'll look better when it's high, high in the sky. And Mars will be up all night long. <laughs> Mars is almost kissing the moon right now, so I'm going to get my camera on my 12-inch Meech McCassegrain, and I'm going to be looking at it through my dog while getting some video of Mars. So I'll be right back. I have an 11-millimeter eyepiece in my 10-inch Dobsonian, and it looks pretty good. Obviously, it looks better in the 12-inch because it's bigger aperture, but I can still see detail on Mars, and it's getting really close to the moon now, but Mars looks really good. I failed to get video of it either disappearing behind the moon or <laughs> emerging. As you can see, it's already getting well past the moon now, but I saw it. It was really cool. <laughs> but I'm getting a little bit of video of the moon and Mars. <laughs> but it was pretty neat. I'm glad I got to see it through my 12-inch telescope and my 10-inch Dobsonian. Hope you did too.
So the lunar occultation of Mars is over. And now it's almost midnight and Mars is very high in the sky. And I can make out a lot more detail on the surface of Mars. So the lunar occultation was nice. It was fun to watch. But if I had to choose between a lunar occultation and seeing a planet at opposition, I'd choose the planet at opposition, particularly when it comes to Mars, because Mars is very hard to see. And so having the occultation made it difficult to, to see Mars. <laughs> it disappeared for an hour, but certainly makes you think what did ancient civilizations think when not only did they see these objects moving in these strange patterns that didn't follow the stars, but also occasionally they would suddenly disappear behind the moon. They probably didn't know what to think, but um, other than that, uh, I, I prefer <laughs> the planet in opposition. And now that Mars is very high in the sky. Um, I think this is about as high as it'll get uh, on this day of opposition. I can see much more detail and uh, I like that. <laughs> so lunar occultations are fun. Oppositions are even better. <laughs> Mars is very high in the sky now and the amount of detail I can see is stunning. This spectacular really and I think I can see one of the moons Deimos or Phobos and the dark patch is very prominent and the polar cap very prominent it's beautiful I think I'll put the camera on here one more time and get another shot because I think it'll look better than the one I took earlier when it was close to the moon and it was low lower much lower than it is now. And you want to look at the planets when they're highest in the sky. And it's about at 71 degrees right now. And that's really high. And that's where you want them to be when you look at the planets, especially when it comes to Mars. Well, I'll go in later and see if I got any decent video. And if I did, if I'm able to make a picture, I'll show you that. If not, <laughs> then this is all you get to see. Well, I hope you got to see Mars in opposition. Well, that's the end of this episode, Mars at opposition. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula. Signing off. <laughs>